What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you the egg test for two different Lodge cast iron skillets. One is seasoned by Lodge and the other one is seasoned by me. I personally wanted to know if there'd be any difference between the two in terms of the surface and how non-stick they would be. So I filmed this about six months ago when I first received these two skillets. Let's see how my first cook goes with these two skillets. Hi everyone, I'm Jason and today we're going to talk about cast irons. I have here two Lodge cast iron skillets. They're 12 inch and they're the Chef Collection. They are both seasoned. This one is seasoned by Lodge. This is how it comes in the package. This one, I sanded down completely and I re-seasoned it. If you wanna see how I did it, I did another video, so you can check that out. Link will be in the description. And so today I wanna to see if the sanding down process actually helps to make a more non-stick surface or is it mostly just cosmetic? I'm going to do the egg test for both skillets at the same exact time. So I want the temperature of the pans to be at the same temperature. I'm going to put them in the oven at 350 degrees for 15, 20 minutes, and then put it on the stove at medium to low heat. Then I'm gonna add my oil and then add my eggs, which I'm gonna crack into these containers if I can crack it. To make sure that the pans are hot, I'm going to sprinkle some water on it to make sure that it evaporates. Time to add the oil. So now I'm going to add the eggs. As you saw, that was a complete fail. Both eggs stuck onto both cast irons. It's the first time cooking with them. What I realized is that the pans are way too hot. They, the eggs basically burn immediately once I put them on. So now what I'm gonna do for take two is I'm gonna lower the heat of the oven to 200 degrees. And then instead of oil, I'm gonna try using butter. Because it's at a lower temperature, the butter will probably not burn. Now that the cast iron skillets have been in the oven, I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna turn the heat to medium low. And I'm going to add my butter. Okay, now that the butter is melted, I'm gonna add my eggs. I'm gonna turn off the heat for both of them. So get the rest of the sauce. So it, it is non-stick, which is great. There's some residue left over, but most of it does come off when I take, when I scrub at it. And then for this one, this, <laughs> basically it looks like a slip and slide. A little bit right here, it's stuck on residue, but it comes right off.
So it takes a lot more force to get the other egg to slide. But it is on the stick. So. It's a good workout. <laughs> well, there you have it. After I flipped it, it was it did stick a little bit more and it burned a little bit. But this one, uh, same thing, a little bit stuck right, right here. But I think if I scrub it, it'll probably come off. This one it takes a little bit more effort. So now I'm going to clean them and see how easy it is to get the rest of the residue off. For this pan, I think I could just wipe it. It's pretty clean already. And if there is any residue, you can just wipe it off the cast iron and it's, for the most part, it's clean. You, you do still want to wash it with hot water to wash off all the butter. This one, it's not good to use paper towel because it is so coarse, it'll get a lot of the tissue on it. So this one for sure you will have to wash in the sink. In conclusion, both seasonings work. I do prefer the one that I season myself. I tend to use that one a lot more over the last couple months. The great thing about having cast iron is that the more you use it, the better it gets, the more non-stick the surface becomes, and the seasoning becomes slicker and slicker. Just continue using whatever cast iron you have and make sure that you maintain it properly. One thing that I learned that is just as important as the seasoning is the temperature that you use to cook your food with. If you're gonna be cooking something like a steak, you're gonna need a different temperature than cooking something as delicate as eggs to have the proper release of the food. You can see in the video that my first attempt, the eggs burned completely, regardless of which seasoning I used. And then when I lowered the temperature, it was completely nonstick, it was sliding around. If you like this video, go ahead and tap the like button down below. Also, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and feel free to follow us on Instagram for more food content. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. And action! It's recording. Yeah, it's recording. What do you think? What, what do we have action we? Super deep, right? <laughs> okay, show a little skip. <laughs>